Hi, everybody. Welcome to Ibrahim Mongom Attitude on YouTube. Today's lesson is about a comparison between city life and village life. It is for fourth form students, students in Troisia. My name is uh, Mr. Ngom, and I am a teacher of English at Pasi High School. One day, Mahatma Gandhi said, The real India lives in villages. The real India lives in villages. Meaning, in other words, that the real Indians are people who live in villages. Do you agree with Gandhi? What about people who live in cities? Aren't they Indians? Yes or no? This is food for thought. Now, do you think that the real Senegalese are those who live in villages? Do you think that the real Senegalese are those who live in villages? What about those who live in Dakar, in Chess, in St. Louis, in Kaulak? Aren't they real Senegalese? Yes or no? Now, when Gandhi says villages, he means people who live in the countryside. So when I say villages sometimes, it means in the countryside, meaning out of the cities. People who live in the villages are villagers or rural people. I repeat, villages are, are people who live in the countryside. And the people who live in villages are called villagers or rural people. Now for the cities or the towns, people who live in cities or towns are called citizens or city dwellers or urban people. Citizens, city dwellers or urban people. Section 1. In this section, we are going to compare the aspect of village life and city life. Do you like city life or village life? Why or why not? City or village. Picture number 1 and picture number 2. Look at them carefully. Picture number 1 is a city. It is in the urban area. It is a city. What about picture number two? Look at picture number two. Picture number two is what? Picture number two is a village. It is in the rural area. Now, where do you live? I live in Dakar. Is Dakar a city or a village? Dakar is a city. So I am a citizen. I am a city dweller. Where do you live? Students, another student, I live in Darukad. Is Darukad the city or a village? It is a village. Darukad is a village. So I am a villager. Now, in this section also, we are going to see the ups, meaning the positive and good parts of the city and village. When I say ups, and downs, when I say ups are the good things, downs are the bad part of city and village. So in green you have good, in red you have bad. You can also say positive or negative. So in this lesson we are going to see the ups and downs, the good and bads, the positive and negative of both city and village life. Let's get going. Would you prefer to live in a city or a village? Students so number one. Answer. I prefer the village. Teacher. Why do you prefer village? Living in the village. Positive aspects, meaning the ups of the village. I, in my village, I am in close contact with nature. So students number one prefers village life because 
he is in contact with nature. Look at these boys here. They are in full contact with nature. All right? Number two, argument number two. Students so one said, there is no pollution in my village. I live a healthy life. So in terms of health, the village has more positive aspects than the city. Look at the city here on your left, on your right. Okay? So villages have no pollution and people in the village have a healthier life than people in the city. This is students one opinion. Again, there is security and solidarity in my village. So in villages, there is security. There is also solidarity. That's why I prefer, I like village life. Look at the people in the village. Solidarity, security, helping one another. Another argument for village life, another up, another good thing, another positive aspect of village life is they still have traditional practices. Look at picture one and picture two. Can you find these in cities? Maybe, but not very often. So, here also you see on, on your left, we are in a village. People are still in traditional practice, practices. They are eating together in the same bowl, unlike people in the city, which is now very different. It's okay? Another argument is, I live in a quiet village, very calm and peaceful. There is no noise. There is no uh, heavy sounds of you know, uh, planes, of uh, people talking, of cars, motorbikes. No. It is very calm, very quiet, and very peaceful. That's why I like village. People in my village have better behavior than people in the city. In the city. So, in my opinion, in terms of behavior, in terms of behavior, people in the villages have better behavior. That's why I like the, the village. Which other advantages are there in village life? Come on. Give me as advantages that I have skipped on the comments below. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and follow other videos okay, in, on this channel. It's alright? Would you prefer to live in a city or a village? Students number two. I prefer the city. Why? The teacher said. Why do you prefer living in the village? And students number two is going to give the good aspect, the positive aspect of the city. He says, in the city... There are enough infrastructures for a better life. So students number two say, I says I prefer the city because of the infrastructures. Okay? For example, there are schools and training centers in my city. Look at picture number one. You have a library with many good books, with many books. Here also uh, picture number two. Students are learning in very good conditions. Okay? Students have very good arrangement and very good facilities for learning for their studies. You can't find this in our villages. That's why I like the city of the school and training opportunities. Another positive aspect of the city is there are modern hospitals and health centers in my city. Look at the pictures. Do you find these things in the villages? Sometimes, yes, but very often, no. Source so number two, I prefer the city because there is electricity and running water. When I say running water, I mean potable, drinkable, okay, and clear water. Unlike some villages, but now things are changing, okay? So, electricity and running water. So, that's number two. There are job opportunities and business centers in the city. That's why I like the city. 
you can find jobs, you can make money, you can have a good salary, you can run a business in the city and make money, unlike the village. I prefer the city also because of the transportation facilities. It is easier to move in the city from a, a place to another than in the village. In the village, sometimes it's very difficult to move from one point to another because we have lack of transportation facilities. Students number two, I prefer the city for the entertainment facilities, sport, leisure, etc. After a long week of work, on weekends, I need to have some fun. I need entertainment. Where do I go? I go to the stadium. I go to the museum, I go to the uh, beach, I go to the parties, I go to a concert. These facilities are more common in cities than in villages. That's why I like the city. I prefer the city for the markets and the shopping centers. In terms of trade, markets and shopping, cities are better than Villages. That's why I like the city. I can do some shopping. There are many markets and there are well provided. Which other advantages are there in the city that I have skipped? Tell them, write them in the comments below or on Facebook. Alright? Now, the negative aspect meaning the downs of the village life. Because village life has its positive aspect, it also has its negative aspect. Now, students number two, why don't you like village life? Because lack of infrastructures. In the village, there is no hospitals, no universities, no shopping opportunities, no electricity or water supply, no police station, no job opportunities, and there is less entertainment opportunities in villages Okay, than in cities. That's why I don't like villages. So that's number one. Why don't you like the city life? I don't like city life because of pollution. There is pollution in the cities. There is also insecurity in the cities. So city life, city life is not sometimes very safe. You have some muggers and some smugglers and people can be very violent at times. In the city also, there is lack of solidarity. Look at this lady here, lying down outside. She is homeless. Look at these two ladies begging in the streets because they have, they have nothing to eat. So there is no solidarity. Okay? Or even if there is solidarity, solidarity is more common in the villages than in the cities. That's why I don't like Cities, so that's number one said. Life is very expensive in the cities. You spend a lot of money. Everything is expensive. You pay for each and every service. So I don't like cities because life is very expensive. Now, section two. Take a pencil and a piece of paper because you have to do some activities. All right? Activity one. Put your hand on the pause button and do the activity. Complete the table by giving four advantages of the village and four of the city life. So here, you have to give four advantages. Advantage number one, advantage number two, advantage number three, advantage number four. Both for village and both for cities. I have given one for the village and one for the, for the city. You complete now. Is that right? Activity number two. Complete the table by giving four drawbacks of village and four of city life. Meaning, give here four negative aspects of life in the village and four negative aspects of life in the city. Okay? Activity three. Matching. You have two columns. Column A and column B. Match words in column B with the right definition in column A. Put your hand in the pause button. Do it in a few minutes and come back. Are you back?
Yes, let's correct now. Number one, you spend a lot of money in it. Is it A, B, C, D, E or F? Very good. When you spend a lot of money in something, it means that it is expensive. I'm sorry. Number two, people help one another. Is it A, B, C, E or F? Very good, solidarity. When people help one another, each other, this is solidarity. Number three, you can go shopping there. Is it A, B or F or C? Come on. Oh, good. You can go shopping there. It is a market. Okay. Number four, it gives light at night. What is it? B, C or F? Very good. Electricity. Number five, it makes you earn money. It makes you earn money. What's that? It makes you earn money. What's that? Very good. It's a job. It's a job. And the last one, number six, he lives in a city. Very good. A city dweller. Okay, so you have a hundred percent of correct answers. Activity for now, write true or false in column B. And number five has been given as an example. Once again, put your hand on the pause button, take your pen or pencil and do the exercise. Then come back in a few minutes. Come on, you are back. Number one, city life can sometimes be very dangerous. Is it true or false? I'm waiting for your answer. Yes, city life can be dangerous. Number two, there is less traditional education in cities. True or false? Wow. Yes, it's true. Number three, people lead a peaceful and quiet life in the city. True or false? Oh, it's false. It's false. Very good. Number four, you can easily find a well-paid job in the city. It's true. Wonderful. And the last one, number six, six traditions are less practiced in the villages. False. Very good. Once again, you did well. Activity five. Fill in the gaps with the word in the box. You have helpful, you have rural, and you have urban. So, helpful, rural, selfish, urban. Village life refers to the life of mm -hmm, people, while the city life refers to the life of people. Mm -hmm. Village life doesn't consist of many facilities, but city life consists of a lot of facilities. In villages, people are very in nature, but in cities, some living tend to be more in their attitude. Come on. Fill the gap. Now again, put your hand on the pause button, take your pencil, and do the exercise. You have five minutes. Yes, are you back? Come on. Number one, what is number one? Number one is village life refers to the to the life of of rural people. Very good. Of rural people. Number two, why city life refers to the life of come on urban people. Very good. Very good. But city life consists of a lot of facilities. In villages, people are very in villages people are very Helpful. Come on. Wonderful. Helpful. In nature, but in cities, people living tend to be... People living in the city tend to be more selfish. Very good. Very good. 
tend to be more selfish. Once again, you did well. So, let us come back to our essay writing. This is your writing. Okay, take a piece of paper once again and write about the saying the real India live in villages. Or you take number two, do you think that the real Senegalese are those who live in the villages? Yes or no, give your arguments. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Stay strong.